guys, it's Harry in a onesie back with another video, and today we're going to be doing another top five. Um, Elvis is here, you just can't see him because he's underneath the damn bed. Anyway, we're doing the top five best monsters of Star Wars, in my opinion, anyway. So, let's just move on to it. Now, I'll type in the screenshot for this. Uh, here we go. And number five is the is the I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's the space worm of Star Wars. Now, this thing is proper is a pretty big classic, and I think just about any guy who loves the class classics, any person will think this is awesome. And it's just a giant worm well, coming to eat the Millennium Falcon. Who doesn't like it? Um, so, yeah. Not what else to say about it, because it's number five. So, I'll move on to number four. And number four is the Zillow Beast of oh, the Clone Wars. Now, okay, I forgot to mention that one of these is of the Clone Wars. But when I saw this in the LEGO Star Wars game, I just thought, is this actually real? And I did some research and found out it is. So, pretty awesome. It's a freaking giant worm thing with hands. And, I don't know. It's just amazing. And I, if you don't know anything about me, I love giant freaking monsters. And Elvis is fast asleep under the bed. Anyway, um, flipping awesome. Look at those arms. Those arms. Are, the arms. Are. And, yeah. Um, the boss battle was awesome in Star Wars. Lego Star Wars game. And yeah, just amazing. So, number three next. Now, I think number three was pretty predictable. The Rancor. Um, and I think it's the most classic Star Wars monster you can get, to be honest. And it's just a giant hulk of muscle that likes to eat things. And a big fat blob on it. You know, sometimes I just feel sorry for it. Um, and then it just... Then it... Death, it gets squished by a giant gate. Absolutely classic. That is, yeah, if you don't, if you can't tell already, it's sarcasm. But just look at those cute eyes. Look at it eating. It's just like, wouldn't you feel sorry for that? No, exactly. No. Right, number two. Yet another classic. The Starlight Pit. Uh, just absolutely classic. I mean. Who doesn't like a giant flipping mouth in the middle of the in the middle of the uh, desert, which eats ever the more, probably one of the most beloved characters in Star Wars? I mean, seriously though, Boba Fett's like one of the most beloved characters in Star Wars, and then dies in the in the first like half an hour of the bloomy movie. Stupid. Anyway, um, I, I just love it. I mean, look at it. I loved the Star Wars Battlefront Easter egg as well. Yeah, probably one of the only things good about it. <laughs> and it's just amazing. Like, look at it. <laughs> look at those teeth. And anyway, on to number one. Number one. Can you hear it? Let's turn it up a little bit. Don't turn it up a little bit. Nah. I'll play it again. Now, if you didn't already know, that was, of course, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh no, I've gone back onto the video. No, I need I need to no. This isn't going well. Now if you don't know the It is one of the three monsters in the Jonathan Arena. Uh figured it out yet? Of course you haven't. Right? I'm gonna play the video on the lap on the computer. You ready? 
You ready? It's the Ackley. Uh, I fell in love with its screech. I fell in love with its design. I fell in love with it all. It is my absolutely favourite monster of all time in Star Wars. I... <coughs> That's my best impression I can do. <coughs> Sounds like Kinkadora a little bit. A high pitched Kinkadora. Hmm. Um. Yeah, so that's my number one favourite. It's just. Like, it's a six legged thing. It's a six legged green pincer thing. I, I'm, I just love it. So, anyway, if you agree with this list then well done if you didn't just take my list with a just take my advice with a pinch of salt it isn't really advice but yeah so bad impression i'll see you all next time